Nozzle box, converts pressure to velocity. Second rotor, extracts mechanical energy. Diaphragm, guides steam and controls flow between stages. Welcome to my YouTube channel I am Engineer Umar. Let's begin with the nozzle box. The nozzle box plays a critical role in the first stage of energy conversion, converting pressure into velocity. After steam exits the turbine's throttle valve, it enters the nozzle box, where it meets a controlled, aerodynamic environment designed to increase its kinetic energy. Wrench how it works. 1. Steam entry. High pressure steam enters the nozzle box at high temperature and pressure, often above 100 bar and 500 degrees Celsius in large turbines. 2. Pressure drop. Inside the nozzle box, specially designed convergent-divergent nozzles cause a rapid drop in steam pressure. 3. Velocity gain. This pressure drop is not wasted. It is converted into high steam velocity, often reaching sonic or even supersonic speeds depending on the design. 4. Directing steam flow. These nozzles also guide the high-speed steam in the correct direction to strike the rotor blades efficiently. Purpose. Maximize kinetic energy. Ensure proper steam direction. Prepare steam for work on rotor blades. Steam rushing through a nozzle, speeding up. Think of it as the rocket launch pad of the turbine. It accelerates and guides the steam so it can hit the rotor at just the right angle. Rotor. Now let's talk about the second rotor. In a multistage steam turbine, the first rotor extracts initial energy. As the steam expands and loses pressure, it still retains kinetic energy. This partially expanded steam moves on to the next stage, which includes the diaphragm and the second rotor. Electric light bulb What is the second rotor? It is the next set of rotating blades mounted on the turbine shaft. It captures more energy from the lower pressure, high velocity steam. Counterclockwise arrows working principle. 1. Steam entry from diaphragm. Steam exits the diaphragm nozzles, redirected and reaccelerated, and hits the second rotor blades. 2. Blade interaction. The curved profile of the rotor blades converts the kinetic energy of the moving steam into mechanical energy. 3. Torque generation. This interaction generates torque on the rotor shaft, which eventually turns the generator. 4. Pressure drop continues. As steam passes through more stages, pressure continuously drops, and energy is extracted in controlled steps. Bullseye purpose. Continue extracting energy from steam. Maintain rotational motion of shaft. Balance load distribution over multiple stages. Showing multiple rotor stages in. Each rotor is like a gear in a gearbox. The second rotor continues the job started by the first, ensuring maximum energy extraction from every ounce of steam. 3. Diaphragm, the fixed blade stage. Cut to close-up animation of a turbine diaphragm. Between two rotors lies a stationary component known as the diaphragm. Diaphragms are essential for directing and preparing steam for the next rotor stage. Wrench what is a diaphragm? A diaphragm is a ring or disc-shaped structure fitted with stationary guide blades or nozzles. It is fixed to the turbine casing and does not rotate. Function and working. 1. Steam guidance. The diaphragm's veins direct steam towards the rotor at a precise angle, ensuring efficient impact. 2. Velocity adjustment. In impulse turbines, it reaccelerates the steam before the next rotor. In reaction turbines, it partially expands the steam, dropping pressure and accelerating flow. 3. Sealing. The diaphragm also contains sealing fins to minimize steam leakage and improve efficiency. Bullseye purpose. Direct steam flow. Maintain stage efficiency. Prevent steam leakage. Steam passing through diaphragm veins and entering the second rotor. Without the diaphragm, steam would lose direction and energy, leading to inefficient turbine operation and loss of performance. 4. Combined function. How nozzle, diaphragm and rotor interact. Turbine animation from throttle valve to multiple rotors. Now let's see how these components work together, in perfect harmony, inside a steam turbine. Process flow. 1. Throttle valve. Controls steam admission. Maintains required pressure. 2. Nozzle box. 
Converts pressure to velocity. Directs high speed steam to first rotor. 3. First rotor. Extracts mechanical energy. Steam continues to next stage. 4. Diaphragm. Redirects or re accelerates steam. Prepares it for second rotor. 5. Second rotor. Continues energy extraction. Drives shaft rotation further. This carefully staged process ensures that every bit of steam energy is efficiently converted into rotational motion, powering industries, cities, and even entire countries. 5. Common failures and maintenance. Each of these components is exposed to extreme stress, high pressure, temperature, and rotational speed. Regular inspection and proper maintenance are essential. Haman wrench hash typical issues. Nozzle box. Erosion due to steam impurities. Cracks from thermal fatigue. Second rotor. Blade wear or loosening. Vibration due to imbalance. Diaphragm. Blade erosion. Misalignment or sealing failure. Wrench maintenance best practices. Use clean steam to avoid erosion. Inspect nozzles and blades during overhauls. Align diaphragms correctly. Monitor vibration regularly. Routine inspections, vibration analysis, and proper alignment ensure long life and efficiency of these critical turbine components. Modern turbines now feature aerodynamically optimized nozzles, blades with cooling channels, and advanced diaphragm designs for maximum efficiency. 3D blade profiles. Variable nozzle control. Labyrinth and honeycomb seals. Engineers continuously refine these designs to extract more power from less steam, improving both performance and sustainability. In this video, we explored how the nozzle box, second rotor, and diaphragm work in synergy to convert high-pressure steam into powerful rotational force. From steam entry to shaft rotation, each part has a precise role, and any imbalance can cost performance, efficiency, or even safety. Memo Summary Points